Okay, I'm going to tell you how you can modify some metadata in a NetCDF file using the Unidata Tools UI uh, GUI. You don't want to do this if you have a thousand files, but if you have just a few files, it works pretty well. So to start off, you go get the Tools UI by uh, Googling on NetCDF Java. You get to this page here. You scroll down a little bit um, under the current release. You can see this Tools UI. You click there to download it save it on your disk somewhere and um, and then once you've saved I already had a copy so I'm not going to save it there you can go and um, to your file browser and you see it sitting there if you double click it it should come up um, it's a Java application it comes up with a little funky Lord of the Rings demo uh, little logo there um, and then you can navigate around um, and find a NetCDF file and open it up. I actually opened it up in this viewer tab, which is one way you can look at it. You can sort of browse the names and units in a nice little form here. Actually, just before we uh, edit the metadata, I'll show you this other tab here. If we drop it in there, um, it gives you the sort of familiar NC dump sort of view that you might get from the command line. But we're really interested in this tab over here. If we go here and open it up, So I'm going to select the file, open it up. We get this uh, NCML view. Okay, so this shows us uh, the attributes, the dimensions. It's the, actually a complete specification of the NetCDF file uh, in NCML. So it actually has the location of your original file here, but then it has all the information about the file, the metadata about the file here, the dimensions here, and here is the attribute that specifies the conventions. And so actually you can just go in and start editing this here. Um, if you wanted to change one of these, they will override the metadata that's in your original file. So um, if we wanted to say, uh, modif modify one of these things, we could do that. Um, if we want to add something, we can actually just start typing it in here. Let's add an uh, attribute called um, history and give it a value of uh, modified in tools. UI. Okay. So if we do this and we then uh, save it out, click the little icon here, save NCML, and uh, give it uh, give it a name here. We'll say adriabathy.ncml is the default name. That's fine. File successfully written. Okay. And now let's go back to say the NC dump tab and open up that NCML. So and that CF Java can actually read the NCML. Here it is. Let's open it up. And now, uh, if we see, we can see that there's a history attribute modified in Tools UI. Cool. So now, um, actually, in the NCML tab again, okay, we can actually write that. We could actually load that. We can load that file in if we wanted to. Um, but uh, what we wanted to do now is actually write that file out as a NetCDF file. If if the goal is to have a NetCDF file that contains the modified metadata. If we didn't need to have the actual NetCDF file, you could just use this NCML um, directly. You could load this in, uh, say, any tool that works with NetCDF Java, this NCML file, uh, or you could put it in your Threads data server catalog. But if you really want the NetCDF file, you can actually go over here, click on this little ring that says Write NetCDF, and we'll give it a, a new name here. Save it out. Okay, file successfully written. And now let's uh, try that file again in NC dump. <clears throat> There's the Bathy2 here. Let's open, actually we can refresh this, the browser here so we can see up here, but we open it up um, and here's our file, successfully modified our NC file with our new uh, attribute. So there you go, that's how you can uh, use the tools UI to modify uh, the metadata.